Can we? Can we? Is it time to talk some football? Oh, you know I'm ready. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Set it off. All right. So what? What I want to talk about in football is the oak is whoa, whoa. I almost messed up. So yeah. many teams not the same no more. Things have changed. Um, the Las Vegas Raiders, man. My pops. Shout out to my pops. He a diehard Raiders fan. Um, Yo, why old heads always be Raiders fans? Cause they uh, they used to be legit back in the day. So <laughs> that that's a Raiders fan too. That that leads me to my question: Are the Las Vegas Raiders for real? Are they for real? Because the Saints think so. Define real. Um, gonna win their division. I know they ended with the Chiefs, but they. Yeah, you know I mean, just beat the Saints, and the Saints are supposed to be. I know they was missing Michael Thomas, but it is what it is. They Saints. Some people got Saints as a Super Bowl favorites. Um, not me. I got. I think got the Seahawks coming out of the NFC East, but it is what it is. Like they undefeated. They got David Carr, who is one of the, as y'all would say, one of the most slept on quarterbacks. Um, as he would say. As as Hill would say, AJ too, because I, I I like to say that Carl was crowned too early, um, but y'all y'all argue me on that, and and it's looking like it um, that y'all were right, so I'll admit that. But it's like they got Josh Jacobs at running back, they got um, they got decent wide receiver core, they got a, a stud tight end, and they have a, a, a overall decent defense. So are they for real? Question: You said I want to. Uh, you said they have a decent wide receiver core. Um, they're missing. They need a veteran. They do need a veteran. That's they why I said decent. I didn't say good or great. They, they need a veteran, and I think the perfect person for them that they need to go get is Des Bryant. Mm. A lot of teams need to go get Des Bryant. I believe they if they would go get Des Bryant, that would solidify that would put that would solidify their wide receiver core. Because I mean, well, they. They don't know what to do with Ruggs right now. Ruggs is just running. He's just running, being a decoy, not really being involved. I know it's only been two weeks. Uh, what's the other guy? Ed was, Ed was looking legit. Ed was just looking, yeah. he's yeah. looking legit. Before, be, be, before the season started, I said Brian Edwards would probably be a better receiver than Ruggs. He'd probably you know, at I least. Be. Because you know, remember, I, I wanted Brian Edwards in Cincinnati. You know, I wasn't sold on Ruggs anyway. So Yeah, we, we, right, we right there together. So it was like. They have good young talent, so I can't say that they're for real, but I, I will say they won't look like the same old Raiders. They're gonna win, they're gonna win some games. Playoff, I, yeah. And didn't, <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't the extra uh playoff spot start this season? So, like, that there's so. that extra playoff spot, so mm-hmm. it's gonna be like they got it, they they will get into the playoffs. Because it's gonna be some seven and nine teams um, getting the playoffs. How many how many teams total get into the playoffs now? It's just it's just one extra. One extra team. Yeah, just one extra team. So basically the the, what, the the number one seed is the only seed that gets a buy. The thing about it, the thing about it is that uh first off, re, let me rewind. Josh Jacobs, legit. Fully. Oh, he's Darren that, Waller. He's, that, he's a dog. Darren Waller? Yeah, he he legit. He legit. He, yeah. So you got you you got you got some cornerstone pieces mm-hmm. to go ahead and build up. The defense, am I sold on their defense? Hell no. Their defense not legit at all, but they decent. But if you can play but ball the thing control, is, you got quality whole possession, you they can be formidable. That's what I can say. Formidable. Right. Okay. So they're definitely gonna win some games, but when it comes down to it, especially in the playoffs. They're not going to be able to stop those teams in the playoffs when it comes down to it. Like right? what they go like they can they can put up points, but they can't put up points with the Chiefs. They can't like you know some of these other teams. What they going to do with the Steelers? Because they ain't going to be able to put up points with the Steelers. If Rugs start, start stretching the field like he's supposed to, then they could. Okay. Oh, we, we on the Raiders. We on the Raiders now. We mistake. We mistake with the Raiders. No, because oh, I, I I get what you're saying about me. You about to bring up me bringing up the Steelers? Yes. Well, okay, but what I'm saying is I'm not even talking about because I was gonna the Ravens are gonna be the number one seed. I was gonna go to the Ravens next. Okay. As far as because I'm talking about playing against if they gotta play against that Steelers defense, mm-hmm. that 
that's going to be tough because that O line versus that Steelers defensive line is going to be it, it, it's a mismatch. Yeah, but so, you, just, you didn't you didn't say that first. First thing you said was put up points with the Steelers. I know because they're not going to be able to put up points with that Steelers defense. They might have the best de- like defensive like front seven in the league. Outside of the Ravens and outside of the Chiefs, I believe the Raiders can show up against anybody. And what's what's to say any given Sunday? I get you. Yeah. I would love I would love to see the Steelers. That's why I asked. In, in, in any given Sunday, I mean, could we still I mean, get nobody? Give... Thought the, nobody thought the Titans was going to do what they did last year. So I'm I'm one hundred percent. I definitely didn't have the Titans where they doing what they did last year. And they looking uh, they two and zero, oh, but they two and zero oh is little. I need more from Henry, man. Little funny and he, in that he getting the touches too, so it's like don't make no sense why he ain't. He don't look like he got that extra gear that he had last year, man. And real real quick, it's kind of like my six degrees of separation when ryan Tannehill did what he did last year takes me back to adam gase got that jets job and you told me he does do stuff with quarterbacks look what he did with ryan Tannehill. i told you that i I said no he'll do he'll do (laughs) and i was just like i don't know if he necessarily did anything with Tannehill. i just think that Tannehill actually kind of start growing a little bit Tannehill did that with himself, man. I don't think that Adam Gase was wor- worthy of that coaching job to, you know, get fired and then automatically fall forward into another job. Tannehill always got the tool. He had the tools from the beginning with. I didn't vouch for Adam Gase getting the head coaching job. I said he does have a track record with quarterbacks, which did. Okay. It does have validity, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He All may right. be a good offensive coordinator, but he got I was at family barbecue. Get his ass up out of New York <laughs> quick, fast, in a hurry. I oh, feel yeah. bad for Sam Donald, man. I don't. I do. I, of course you know. And I, I, I really don't really feel random women in the club first. I mean, I feel them. Get your heel on. Get your heel on. Get your heel on. <laughs> 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 when, was the, when was the last time y'all just randomly kissed in the club? Oh, bro, years ago. When was, was the last time I actually been to a club? Bro? Oh, that was years ago. Like years, <laughs> I, had, I had real hair when I. Ooh, when man, I, I, was, I was in I was in, D, I was in DC. I, I, I was I was at a, there at a Halloween bar crawl. And we and this was and DC the, too. And man, it was DC listen, with him. <laughs> I see I see this I see this ran into this little Filipino joint. She looked at me. I looked at her. She bought me a drink. We just was rapping it, and that's how it happened. Next thing I know, I came to. I wasn't blacked out no more. We Paul, kissing. I'm like, hey, call somebody Uber. stop this man. <laughs> <laughs> so AJ, one time. Oh shit, that sounds like a question for me. It is a question for you though. Oh shit, damn, I forgot to timestamp that one. Um, let me just throw a number on that. Uh. I'm gonna ask you about one team in particular though. And they yeah. was on your Super Bowl, uh they was your Super Bowl contenders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up with your Minnesota Vikings, sir? Man, that shit don't count. <laughs> I ain't getting no preseason. I ain't getting nothing to see if they was gonna be this city. So it it's don't bad. count. It's bad it QB on, play. It, I'm gonna it, keep it, it a buck. It, it it was just on a limb. Kirk Cousins is doing Kirk Cousin things. Bro, that that was one of the nastiest QB. He's not even playing like Kirk Cousins. That's not I even Kirk Cousins. Stuff. Yeah, that's that's just extra in crazy. my life. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's not that's not even him, bro. Kirk Cousins is better than that. But it's been it's been awful QB performance from the Vikings. Um, and that's just leading, you know, it's like a snowball effect. Man, I was just, trying to I was trying to have a nice little <laughs> sexy pick. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, okay, they still, you know, what I mean, they did, they did a little, you know, you know, keep going, you know, keep that thing moving. Mm-hmm. That Take first that game, off. I, bro, that's, I, that first game against Aaron Rodgers, I'm like, yeah, yeah. They could turn it around though. I think out of all the, they own two, right? I think yeah. out of all the own two teams, they they're one of the few that could turn it around. The, the fact that what scares me the most is. The fact that he's probably just threw another pick against the Colts. They they you want to like, explain why he even made that pick, <laughs> but he just did. Look, go ahead, yeah. Go, matter of fact, look, really, really break it down. The reason why I made that pick 
is because, look, man, I felt that, yes, they lost some pieces, but they did the proper thing to try and replace those pieces. They had a, a, you know, a weak, you know, cornerback role, but in the back end of the, uh, of the, of the defense, they pretty solid. So I'm like, you got a, a, a solid, you know, safety tandem. Mm-hmm. You should get some good. You should get some good pass rush. Mm-hmm. Your Wait, corners ain't gonna have yeah. to cover that long. Yeah, I that's did true. not think that Devontae Adams was like, I don't give a damn about none of them safeties. None of them. Come here. Come just touch standing up. there. I'm, just about, standing. I'm about to eat you up. Like, bro. Just made a standing catch, bro. They was looking like Byron Maxwell, like a whole team of them. Just burnt <laughs> toast. Toast. And so I was just like, you know what, man? All right. But I'm I got Eric my- said. I got Eric said Stefan Diggs made Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Is well, he, is, he making, if he, is he making I don't know if he made him. Too? I don't know if he made him, but he was making them look good. Um because uh he messing them. And I, I always hey. said that too. They helped Thielen too, man. Oh, that, helped, thank you. Thank you. I always yes. said that. Thank you. So because Stephon, Stephon was nice in college. Like Thielen just came out of nowhere and it's like Everybody just was like, yo, he's the guy. And I'm like, he's the guy because he's oh, he's open. Same thing that hey. they said about Juju. It was a lot easier for Juju when A B was there. Oh, I and, knew, I knew and, Juju. And yes, I knew Juju, Juju was tripping. But Juju's still showing up. He's still showing up, but it has been tougher for him. Same thing with me on Madden. My guy just got elevated. Like I was I was in the slot. Now now I'm the number one. Bro, I can't get open. <laughs> and so here's my thing. With, with with Stephon Diggs, remember that whole that whole that whole momentum of that team change when he was like, "Yo, I'm sick of this shit. Y'all need to get me the ball." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they went on a run. Their whole offense looked better. So you might be right, it, it, Stephon. Stephon, he might have been the cheese that held the bread together. He wanted, like to you said, so like you tried, to, like you tried to troll in That's the beginning. For you, man. I, Speaking of that, as Adams a top I'm, three wide receiver, I'm, and I'm going to that's why he left it on the screen. I'm going to get that. <laughs> okay. Going to get that. okay, okay. But I had to, before I lose my point. Like you said, like you tried to troll and said, "Is he making Josh Allen?" Josh Allen. Well, both of them, Diggs and Allen, are leading um leading their position at the yards right now. So that was a real question. I was not trying to troll. I'm right, just making sure. Just Whatever making sure. it is, it's working together. It's, so it's working. And on, per, and on personally, you remember our personal argument that we had about um. Amari and Stefan Diggs, and I told you mm-hmm. for a fact that I had that I had them in one A and one B in Minnesota. Speaking of Diggs and Thielen, now all of a sudden you take you take one out, and Justin Jefferson ain't ain't, ain't looking like LSU Justin Jefferson right now. Thielen looking a little funny in the light. Yeah, Thielen looking real funny in the light. Now is Adams the top three wide receiver? He had a great game game one, but what did he do game two? He did some things game two, but he left with a hamstring injury. <laughs> like always, he's a thot. <laughs> but I had him in my top five. I can pull my list up. I had uh-huh. Devontae Adams in my top five, but top three, that's different. My top three not changing. No, who was top three. Yeah, top top three would be tough. But with a with a good year, and he can come, if he come back from a hamstring, he could do he can he can get in there. Oh. But they say his hamstring yeah. ain't that serious, but I mean, he, he, you I, never know with them hamstrings. You never know. So let you me never let me know. ask y'all this: with with these first two weeks, what do what did we learn? Because we haven't had no preseason. Like, have we really learned anything about any team yet? That's what we learned when we said it last week that we need the preseason. That's the first thing we learned. Yeah, that first that, thing we learned. yeah. And the second thing we learned that Lamar Jackson is the real deal, <laughs> straight up, which I've been yeah. known. But it's like that's what the world is learning. Like, I'm going masses. I'm going masses. Is the fact that continuity really matters? Mm-hmm. Think of the teams. Think of the teams that's that's doing something. Think of them. <laughs> I'm just I mean, saying. Yeah. Think of, think of the teams. Yeah, I'm thinking Green Bay is a team that's doing something. And we bashed Green Bay all off season. Bashed them. Bashed them. Not getting Aaron Rodgers help for not doing nothing. Not not doing nothing for Aaron Rodgers. But it's another year two in this system, which is yeah. a new system for him. And now they came out that gate smoking. Mm-hmm. 
and, and, and y'all know I hate Green Bay. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know. Ooh. <laughs> But that's what we learned. We learned. That's tough. Oh, that's another thing we learned. Arizona, Arizona's legit, man. Are they? Arizona's legit. I think the reason why they're legit is because Nuke. Um, you got Nuke, you got Kyler, and then you got um, what's the running back that came from Miami? Um, uh, Kenyon Drake. Yeah, you got Kenyon Drake, man. I think that's just tough, bro. Then you still got Larry Fitz. Um, and, and and the defense is formidable, like you said. And so it's like, bro, and Kyler is like a defense. And he, he's going to convert in every third and short as long as he's healthy, man. Every third and short. you What you going to do third and short? You going to load up and try to stop the run? He can hit you with that read option and go outside and beat everything for 50. Or you load up, he can drop back and throw the quick slant to nuke. <laughs> to nuke Hopkins, so it's like, bro, like I think they're tough. Um, I don't know. I, they about to get a, a tougher test, so we'll see. I wanted to say this before the season started, and I and I probably was gonna look crazy from the jump, but it's probably gonna sound even crazier even now. I believe the Arizona Cardinals are definitely what we thought the Cleveland Browns was last year. They gonna have that same type of fall. That I'm, I'm, oh, okay, that same type of fall, like. They, we, they got the I, hype. They get it. They it's sexy. It's cool. They got the pieces. Like, I, they got all the exactly. pieces. Exactly. Yeah. But they, like, if they yeah, stay healthy, it can work. I don't. I just. It, I think because this is the same thing that I said about Baker that year, where I was like, I, following his rookie year when everybody had that hype on him, I was like, he like he got the majority of his statistics against bad teams, and I think that the Cardinals that came in with a whole bunch of hype, but I don't see them being like a for real for real contender because once again I still don't trust that defense. I, yeah, I, I don't trust I, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't trust I don't trust I don't trust that offensive line, you know, for a full season. Kyler, he's a bad man. You can mask it, that line with him. True. For how you can, but how long is he gonna just be able to do that on his own? He he's not taking hits now, but it's gonna like he's gonna he may have to slow up. Because you're not gonna just win games with just just don't take games. hits. He's, just he's don't take be. hits. I'm not saying you got to keep running, but if he can just continue to protect himself, which is running quarterback, that's that's their number one flaw all the time. And and then you look at Russell Wilson, someone who's been able to run and protect himself, and that's why he's had the success. So I feel like if Kyler, and that's the beauty, they both play baseball. So they know how to get down. Kyler knows how to get down. And um, if you can get down and you can protect yourself and you can live to fight another down like Tom Brady does, then I think that they could be a problem because on the next down you have new. All else, throw it up. If let me get out the pocket, buy some time with my legs, how long can they cover Nuke for? No, I, I 100% feel you. But I just – I think when, when you have that hype, man, and – they crown you too early, then it's gonna be a whole bunch of pressure. So now they go, they go, on a, they go on a street where they go lose three games. Are they for real? That's a fact. Is, is, this, is, is this team what we really thought it was? Do we really trust Cliff Kingsbury when the heat gets turned up? Well, right now he was uh, against the Washington football team, he was making all the right calls. I mean, I, I was like, This is the dude that I've been talking trash about. This yeah. is not him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he definitely already exceeded all my expectations anyway. So, one hundred percent. But like I said, one day he get turned up though. Is he gonna do? Is he gonna do the same? And Sean, come on now, we not gonna do that. Yeah, we not. What Sean, what Sean say? Don't Amari, worry. Not even top five. He oh yeah, the best receiver, top team, top receiver on this team. Stop it. Stop it. Who's what the top receiver NFC? on the team? What team? What team in the NFC right. East is he a fan of? But but now I'm saying, who is Sean right. saying that, that the top of CD Lamb? CD Lamb. Everybody on CD Lamb. CD Lamb hype trade. He's definitely as advertised. Game, week right. one, CD Lamb didn't even run to the sticks. See, this is the small stuff about wide receivers that people don't like. Like on that on that fourth Ball down, baby. You didn't even run to the sticks, and it was only like three yards that you needed. If we got only need three yards and you can't get to the sticks, then that's on you on this route, bro, if we don't but get Amari, the first down. But last week, Amari was playing on a bruised foot, couldn't run full speed, and still had more yards and more catches than CD. 
He's still a big dog, baby. Still a big, big dog. dog. Like, come on, big we're dog. not gonna do that. We're not gonna disrespect that. Hey, Amari showing up for me in fantasy. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> oh, we care about nothing else. Oh, oh, fantasy. How yeah. do I <laughs> say goodbye? I hate fantasy. I'm sick of fantasy. I love it, man. I think Rose, I love, Ro- I love Rose got a nice little team, team, man. Rose, he got he got tired of being talked about last year. Yeah, Rose he's got a nice little team hey. this year. They had a good game. <laughs> <laughs> he said he had a good game. Had a good game. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can't. De- I mean, he always put two hundred up, put one hundred, yeah. one ninety nine up. You can't deny that. Like I said, yeah. this part, I definitely bashed him during his draft, and like said, <laughs> yeah. his drafting was definitely crazy, unorthodox, whatever you want to call it. But you throw one hundred ninety nine point, you did something right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying my team struggling in school, like I said. So yeah, <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, <laughs> my team did terrible in that league too. I didn't even crack a hundred this week, but uh, I have four <laughs> starters out, so it's like, and it's like they short term, so I can't cut them. That's the thing. If it was season ending, I could say you know be done with you, and Hill won't let us have you know our, our spot. So it's like. I'm I'm trapped. I got to hold on to my guys. Can't change the rules in the middle of the season. He, baby. he doing like, us dirty, I like y'all. You, I like how he you don't got it. not one IR spot for you. Like, come, what what type of league is that? <laughs> <laughs> Try to blame me. <laughs> like, like it, like we ain't the league office. Like we ain't all three the league office. You know the rules. <laughs> the whole the whole commissioner executive board talk about yeah, it's right here. He told me he gonna throw me under the bus. No sir, no sir. Oh, man. And Eric, we we definitely we we've been rocking with you on this Cam as comeback player of the year. We we've been on that one early too. I know Hill. He he threw in he threw in Ben Roethlisberger on this one as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Ben gonna be in the conversation for sure. But, but yeah, Cam definitely Cam definitely looking like he looking like something, man. I'm glad I'm good. I I I'm I'm going Russ though. I'm going Russ. Oh, Russ MVP. Oh, with MVP. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Russ MVP. Right now, right now, right now. This strictly comeback player of the year. Russ. Oh, he doing something like watching that deep ball to DK or Stephon yeah, Gilbert. Man. That thing was so pretty. That helped me beat hell in my other league. Bro, like, like, they they said they said Stephon Gilmore hadn't gave, given up a touchdown in coverage in like two years. Shit, yeah. <laughs> if DK made that boy look like he about to get cut, hey man, just gotta he made that just boy gotta like attack Stephon some of these Hunter. dudes, man. Sometimes these dudes build up a name and then people just stay away from them. Sometimes you just gotta attack these dudes, man. Talk to him, Cannon. Talk just to attack him. Them. They just people, man. And you can, you can oh, really figure out who it is. But my oh, whole man. thing is, what's the worst playing, that can happen? You throw playing, a pick. Playing, playing, playing cornerback is almost like playing like is like being at the plate in baseball. It's, you gonna yeah. lose. You gonna lose a lot. But when you win, it's, a, it's big. So yeah. if you like, why not attack? Them? Why like why not just go out these dudes and it's like okay, you gonna have to play perfect. Especially if I feel like I got a dog on this end too. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got to hey, it, it, bring some more dogs. Like you say, you, if I got a dog, that's I ain't shying away from nothing at all. From nothing. I think I think Baltimore. Uh, to your question, Mark, I think Baltimore is one of the scariest teams in the league, just because they have they have uh, multiple people at running back. Well, you can even add a third person with Lamar. Um, then he he's pinpoint accurate with his passes. They have good tight end game, and they have decent wide out. So it's like then they then their defense is is elite. So it's like why why wouldn't they be when they have a veteran coach who don't back down from nothing? And that's the type of coach that I would like to have, you know. So it's like if they got all the pieces. Like if they stay healthy. Why wouldn't they be one of the scariest teams? And we about to see a real good one on Monday night early. We're going to see if they really one of the scariest teams. So next week, we'll let you know if they really the scariest team. Absolutely. What about the Bucks make them scary? That's what I'm saying. I, I, I understand Nothing. that they have Tom Brady, but I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of the Bucks. Nothing. They, they, you they, show, you they show nothing against the Saints, and then you beat the Panthers. And the Panthers – 
they have what what do they have? Leonard Nothing Fournette went defense. off. And, and they, CMC and got hurt. Defense. Exactly. Like I I'm not I'm still not buying into the Bucks. You gotta show me. They gotta show me something. Before I before I put anything on the Bucks and give them any credit, I need to, I need to see something. I need to see something that's convincing. They haven't convinced me yet. That's a fact. That's a fact. These um the Ravens. What about the Ravens? What am I about to say about the Ravens? Uh, hopefully, don't nobody show them the blueprint on how to stop them and beat them early on, though. That's what's going to be key for them. Okay, you show the blueprint. You, know, you show the blueprint on anybody. Teams try to try to try to copy and mimic that, and it's going to make it tough for everybody else. Doing things you can't believe. It's the three man week. We come at you with topics. No, you cannot stop it.